a proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. Brothers and sisters, the gospel for our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. God is love. Love is God. Where there is love, there is God. And if we remain or if we live in love, God lives in us. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, love is the reason why we have Christianity. Love is the focal point, the fundamental essence of Christianity, of our faith in God. And so the, uh, this is our vocation. When, whatever you do, in which life you are in right now, you can be married person, you can be a single, you can be a priest, a nun, or a religious. But my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in virtue of our baptism, we have only one goal in life. And that is to love God with all our hearts, with all our souls, with all our strength, and love others as we love ourselves. And this love will give us life to the full. And this love will give us purpose in this life. And this, and this love will give us the goal, the direction of our life. And so without love, if we don't love, we are nothing. And so that's the reason why the Lord Jesus Christ said that remain in me. Because if you remain in God, love will remain in you. And so, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, actually, this loving or this vocation of love is not something an outside, from the outside, that, that God imposes on us. No, actually, we are made and we are, you know, the purpose of our, uh, of our humanity, of our being is no other than love. Because we, from, from the very beginning, from the creation time, in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27, it is written, God created mankind in his own image and likeness. So what is the image and likeness of God? It is love. 
And that's the reason why, my dear brothers and sisters, that what is common in, in each one of us, what is common in us is love. We are created by God and for God, which means it is also the same as we say we are created by love and for love. Now, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I know you know all these things. But then, the problem or, uh, you know, uh, yung pag, pwede nating pagnilay-nilayan ngayon sa, uh, sa Ibanghelyo ngayon ay, why is it, it you know, uh, you know, uh, why, why love hurts? Bakit, yung sinasabi natin, no? Bakit, uh, masakit ang magmahal. <laughs> Bakit? Bakit hindi lang tayo magmahal at hindi masaktan? Pwede ba yun? Ah, you know, my dear brothers and sisters, God knows our nature, the human nature. God knows our weaknesses and our strength. And so, this is why in the gospel of today, the Lord Jesus Christ said it very clearly that this is his commandment. Love one another as he loved us. We claim we love others. We claim that we love our families. We claim that we love our brothers and sisters. We claim that we love our parents. We claim that we love you know, uh, your children. But why there are conflicts? Why there, is, why there is anger? Why there is quarreling? Why there is jealousy? Why? Because, 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 our love is, you know, our love is most of the time selfish. Our love is selfish. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we claim that we love. You know, we claim. But then when we love, we say to the other, if you love me, you will obey, you, you will do what, what I will tell you. If you love me, you will do what I want you to do. And most of the time, we love, but then we don't put, you know, the other first. We put ourselves first. Because our love is selfish. And also, our love is conditional. Conditional. I love you. Ah, no? Nagtatrabaho ka rito sa Singapore. Nako, yayaman ako sa iyo. So, I will marry you. You know? <laughs> Ayan, magpapakasal ako sa iyo. Bakit? Kasi, wah, meron kang malaking bahay at lupa sa Pilipinas. Meron ka, marami ka pang sasakyan. So, I will love you. Ah, magpapakasal ako sa iyo. I love you dahil wow, you know, macho ka, no? Ang dami mong tattoo doon sa ano, katawan mo. You are my superhero. You know, you will protect me always. So I love you. But then, so this is, how, this is how we love, with conditions. But then, the Lord Jesus Christ said, the, the Lord Jesus Christ said, we must love as he love us. Ibig sabihin pala, tayo ay dapat na magmahal katulad ng pagmamahal ng ating Panginoon sa atin. So, when we love, you know, we will not love according to our likes, according to our thinking, according to our way. No. We will love according to how the Lord loves us. 
and if it happens, then this love will give us joy. It will be complete. Now, the quest, the second question, now the next question is, paano tayo minahal ng Diyos? Paano tayo minahal ng ating Panginoon? Ah, look at Him. Look at the cross. If you have conflict with your loved ones, with your relationship, with your spouses, with your children, with your brothers and sisters, huh? look, look not the face of the one you are in conflict. Because when you look at your spouse, when you look at your children, lalo kang maaasar dyan, lalo kang maiinis, lalo kang magagalit. So what do you need to do is to look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. Pray. Pray to Him. And ask Jesus, Lord, ano bang dapat kong gawin para mahalin ko itong kaaway ko? Ano bang dapat kong gawin para mahalin ko itong may sama ng loob ako, itong, itong anak ko, itong, uh, itong, itong kapatid ko? Una sa lahat, paano tayo minahal ng Diyos? How God loved us? How Jesus love love us? He offered Himself to us. He offered all to us. Through the cross. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Even though we are not worthy of His life, we are not worthy of God's love. Why? Because we are sinners. We committed sin against Him and against others. Hindi tayo karapat dapat na mahalin ng Diyos. Pero bagamat ganun pa man, bagamat tayo ay nagkakasala, ay minahal pa rin tayo, ibinigay pa rin ng ating Panginoon ang kanyang buhay para no? para tayo'y magkaroon ng bagong buhay, magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. Ganyan tayo minahal ng Diyos, unconditional love. Pangalawa, how God love us. God love us by sacrificing himself on the cross. That means to say love is sacrifice. True love demands sacrifice. Sacrifice. Kaya naman, ito, uh, oh, it, this, this gospel is very appropriate now because we are celebrating Mother's Day. Sa totoo lang, ako ay believe this. Binigyan tayo ng halimbawa ng Panginoong Meso Kristo para magmahal. Pero after our Lord Jesus Christ, the, the, you know, the one who is similar or yung halintulad ng pagmamahal ng ating Panginoon sa atin ay yung pagmamahal ng ating ina sa atin. The mother's love is for me you know, very close to the love of Jesus to us. Bakit? Dahil yung mga magulang natin, yung nanay natin, no? nung sinilang tayo, ibinigay nila yung buhay nila sa atin. They sacrifice themselves. They sacrifice their plan. They sacrifice their dream. They sacrifice their time. They sacrifice even the food that they eat. Marami rito sa Singapore. Ano mo? Ha? Kakainin mo na lamang. Kakainin mo na lamang. Ha? Da -da dumaan ka doon sa ano? Uh, dumaan ka sa, sa, sa Lucky Plaza. Nakita mo yung Jollibee. Nakita mo yung, yung, yung McDonald's. Gusto mong kumain. Kasi yung tagal ka na hindi kumakain sa, sa Jollibee. Eh. Gusto mong kumain. Pero anong isipin mo? Bago ka pumasok. Ay, you know, padadala ko na lang itong pera to para sa mga anak ko sa Pilipinas. Isusubo na lang ng magulang natin 
ibibigay pa sa kanyang mga anak. Kaya kayo, you know, so that, you know, I know we have, you know, we have children who are participating in this holy celebration. Listen to this. You know, children, you know, when, when your parents, you know, especially your mother, when they are, you know, reprimanding you, when they are advising you, when, when, when they are, when they are scolding you, yeah, when you say scolding, yeah. Pag pinagsasabihan ka ng nanay mo o ng tatay mo, don't get angry. Don't shout back at them. Why? Because they do this, they reprimand you, they remind you all the time. Why? Because they take care of you. They care about you. They love you. If they will, if one day, listen to this, if one day your parents will not talk to you, will not reprimand you, will not, you know, advise you, you know, this is dangerous. Magdasal ka na. You pray. Why? Because your parents does not, do not love you anymore. Your parents do not take care of you anymore. And so, matuwa ka. Maging masaya ka. Dahil may magulang na naggagabay sa'yo. That, that is the role of the parents. And don't forget, you children, you will become parents yourselves in the future. If you don't respect your parents, your children will not respect you. And so, listen to them. Listen to what they are saying. Tignan mo, bakit parati ka pinagsasabihan ng magulang ng pareho-pareho, ng, pa, ng ano, the same thing. Why? Because you do not do it. Tignan mo, when you do what they tell you, titigil yan. <laughs> titigil. Dahil para sa kanya, ayaw na niyang sabihin yun sa'yo. Dahil pati siya, nakukulitan na siya sa sarili niya. No? But then, because they are mother, because they are parents, they should do this. And so, the love of Christ is just the love, is just like the love of the parents, especially the mother, sacrifice. And then thirdly, how the Lord Jesus Christ loved us, it is committed love. Committed. Hanggang, hanggang sa ka kaibuturan, hanggang walang hanggan, walang hanggang pag-ibig. Alam niyo, I mean, family is about love. Family is not about logic. You know logic? Logic is one plus one equals two. But when you are in the family, you cannot apply one plus one equals two. <laughs> because family is about love. You know, dyan, kaya, kaya ano eh, bukasyon, di, bukasyon ang, pag, ano eh, ang pagkapamilya. Why? Dahil dyan nyo pinapakita, dyan nabubuhay yung unconditional love. Especially the love of the parents to their children. Kahit yung, kahit yung anak mo, kahit bumabagsak sa ano, huh? <laughs> sa eskwela niya, when, when they fail something, do you despise them? Do you, you know, do you, do you don't, do you, you mean, you, you, you don't acknowledge them as your, as your children? No. They are still your children. You still love them, isn't it? Unconditional love, committed love. And in, in this, what happened to our Lord Jesus Christ? He loved his disciples, his apostles, until his last breath on the cross. Pinakita ito ng ating Panginoon na, na, na kahit, si, kahit, kahit you know, Judas betrayed him, 
even though Simon Peter denied our Lord Jesus Christ three times, even the other apostles hid themselves and ran away when the Lord was dying on the cross. But in spite of this, our Lord Jesus Christ loved them until the last of his breath. Kaya naman mga magulang at kapatid, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, come to Jesus. Learn from him because he is the origin, the source of love. And when we learn from him na kung tayo ay matututong magmahal katulad ng pagmamahal ng ating Panginoon sa atin, ay magiging ganap ang iyong kaligayahan sa buhay. Amen.